Hey Leo, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm starting your read at 21 past midnight. We've got Amsterdam on the TV. We're gonna see what wants to come out. If this does resonate, like, share and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. First card out. Nine of Wands, Spiritual Warrior. The best you can do right now is to go all in, to fully commit, to take a bet on yourself, to take a risk, to be a little audacious. Stand up for what you believe in. It feels like really having strong faith. Believing in the power of your own magic. Believing things are gonna work out even if you can't see how they're gonna work out. Still choosing to intentionally align yourself with what it is you want, 22 past. Two of Cups. Rest, commit to resting, commit, commit to relaxing. You could be talking yourself out of slowing down, out of enjoying yourself. There's something about the power of pleasure something you're facing, something you're battling, something you're here to overcome, something you're here to face, something you're here to create. It's taking a lot of courage, a lot of strength. Having to swim against the current, having to overcome obstacles. Maybe it's like standing strong in the face of adversity. There's something here about power and pleasure. Things that make you feel good. Honouring your sensuality, your sexuality. There's something about really amplifying the feeling of bliss. Your vibes, your weapon. It's going to help you through some kind of emotional turmoil, some kind of spiritual turmoil, whatever it is. It does really feel like dropping into the feminine, that water energy, emotion. If you're in a committed relationship, it's coming through to ask your partner to support you with this. This feels like sex magic in terms of manifestation, the power of creation, life force energy. Mastering your waters. You will find your power in some kind of pleasure. Whatever it is, it's gonna be different for everyone. Take what resonates. Follow your intuition. It feels like it's gonna help you to get out of your mind, to really get into your body. It's like something's already been created. You've already worked hard at something. You've already mastered something in the physical. But there's an opportunity to take something further. And it's like the power of feeling, the power of pleasure, the power of bliss. The emperor. It's like there's no obstacle when it comes to taking action in terms of it's not a case of you don't know what you're doing or that you don't do enough. Are you having fun while you're doing what you're doing? Things are coming in to bring pleasure into your life, to, to bring ease into your life. And it's like just being receptive to this
there's some fear here it's like if you focus on love if you focus on focus on excitement on pleasure on joy on bliss if you take your mind off things for a minute if you let go if you if you surrender It's like feeling like something bad's gonna happen if you take your eye off the ball, if you slow down. But it's like the exact opposite's gonna happen. See this surrender as another action, as another thing to do. This is part of the thing to do. It's like this is part of keeping your eye on the ball. It's like change your perspective. It's not that you're not doing anything, you're doing the very thing you need to be doing in order to be doing what it is you're doing, in order to bring about everything. Things aren't as they appear, not all is as it seems. Trust your intuition. Some of you, it's like you're about to meet somebody that is gonna show you a different side of yourself or bring back to life a part of yourself that you've suppressed. You asked for peace. It's like an uh, asking for peace, asking for things to be balanced out. It, it feels like you've asked for ease, but now things are coming in to create that feeling of ease. It could feel uncomfortable. You could feel like you're being lazy because it means doing less or doing something in a different way that you've been used to doing it. Be mindful of what you tell yourself. Queen of Wands, the outcome. The Empress on the Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups. Some of you, it's like not expressing yourself is keeping you in a place of lack. Some of you, there could have been a period of celibacy. Some of you, it's like you've ha had a period of isolation. Maybe you've not been connecting to people in that way physically. But it's like, ask yourself why you're still doing this if you are still doing this. It's like, what is the reason? Is it because now there's some fear? Because this has become comfortable? Because it feels like there's something here where you're going to be... It's like manifesting at a different level. Feeling better than you've ever felt. Once you let go. And it feels like... Be mindful that you're not labeling things as right and wrong and why you're labeling them as right and wrong. Because it's like what was right for you in one season may not be right for you in another. And maybe it was necessary for you to be moving a certain way. But then it's like maybe in this season it's for you to, it's like a new version of yourself. You're not even moving in the way you once were, but give yourself the freedom to express. It feels like you could be feeling like you're letting yourself down or letting God down for you to express yourself. This feels like shame, shame around sexuality, shame around sensuality. Somebody's coming in that's going to help you to navigate through this, through this confusion or through some kind of uncertainty. It feels like unconditional love. It's going to be a full circle moment. This is going to affect your finances once you finally let go of this. The Magician, Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. It feels like something that you needed to do in order to take your power back. By doing it now you're in your power or by restricting yourself now you're in your power. Now your narrative's changed. Now you're, you've healed a situation is actually holding you back instead of moving you forward. Be mindful that you're not staying in some kind of, some kind of isolation or not being open to certain things because of some kind of fear, inner child fear or some fear from the past, something that makes you feel emotionally vulnerable, feeling like you're disrespecting yourself or there's fear of someone disrespecting you it's like you're really being asked to drop into this empress energy regardless of gender let go surrender cut close surrender coming through two of swords 
an end to confusion, but you gotta take the first step. It's like clarity is on the other side of the decision. Don't wait to gain clarity before following your intuition. Your intuition is leading you to the clarity. Some of you, it's like you're going to make the right decision. If you're worried about is this with the right person or if you're going to make the right decision of should you do something, should you not, should you move on with someone, should you not, should you be open to love, should you be open to connection. It's like trust you're going to make the right decision. Some of you, it's like you already have agreements that with these kind of things, it's like at the last minute, spirit will come in and you will make the right decision. It's like you can't even make the wrong decision if you try to make the wrong decision. Others of you, it's like you're so, you've been through this path, you've learned these lessons. You're not going to abandon yourself, maybe how you once did. And it's just having the trust, trust in your own senses, trust in that gut feeling. You could be traveling with somebody. It's like either you're ready now. You're ready now. It's like the green light from source. You're ready now. Graduation. Six of Pentacles. What you want you no longer need and now you no longer need it it's a it's here it's like something that you really were attached to whether it's money a person love whatever it is maybe some kind of addiction maybe there was sex some kind of sex addiction my own personal things coming through but that i mean guided to share maybe there's some kind of sex addiction it's like celibacy is how you've taken your power back now there's some fear of of what if you go back to some, to a version of yourself you've already overcome. Have trust, have faith, realize how far you've come. You're not gonna know how far you've come until you let yourself see how far you've come by taking that leap of faith. But it's like you're ready for this. There's a lot of money coming in. The full and justice in your favor, new beginning. <sighs> Some of you could be traveling, hot air balloons, Libra energy. Some of you could be traveling, it's like take a leap. Um, you might be catching a flight. The full justice strength one after the other. It feels like it's gonna take a lot of courage. It's like, give it up to God. You don't even need to orchestrate anything. You just need to be ready. It's like, just be ready. Whatever this is, or somebody coming in, it's like there's an opportunity for this to lead to family. Or somebody may already have a family. It's like a merging of. Interesting. You could be having children with this person. Somebody may already have children. Or it's like just that family orientated energy. I've just seen everyone together. All ages, all generations. It's like a celebration. Opportunity to travel. Opportunity to move forward. Opportunity for better. Opportunity for better feelings. The sun, the chariot. <laughs> Major are kind of coming out one after the other. 
death. Transformation. Clarify those two. Scared of not working hard. Is that a fear of loss? What if you, if you stop, you're going to lose something. If you're not doing something all the time, or you're not working all the time, grinding all the time, or onto the next thing, onto the next thing, it's like. It could be fear driving that. You're being asked to really let go, release. There's a fear of loss. If you let yourself enjoy this romance or this new beginning, this prosperous, abundant, loving new beginning, it's like if you surrender to this, you're going to lose everything you've worked so hard to attain, to create. Don't think so small. You can have both. It's not one or the other. It's like if anything, by letting go a little, it's going to help things to grow. It's like this advice wouldn't be given to somebody who doesn't do anything, who doesn't take action. But this is like obsessive action. This is like 24 hours, 24-7 yeah nine of cups like how long you been grinding on this dream but why was you grinding on the dream to have the dream the dream's here you don't need to still be grinding for the dream it's like it's like this dream energy is here you're being asked to adjust to it things are about to merge together the work you've put in but it's like now you're being prepared to really hold space for what it is you've worked to create there's still work that will need to be done but right now it's like amplify this energy, this energy is working for you, there's a blessing here. It's like it's almost disrespectful for you to dismiss this blessing because you feel like you need to work more. It's like you're, bas you're indirectly saying like God's not got you. It's like literally God giving you a gift and you turn in your head, it's like ah oh, in a minute I'm busy, I'm busy. It's like, busy doing what, bro? <laughs> busy doing what? It's like, you don't even know what you're busy doing. You don't even know what's coming. You don't know what you don't know. Oh, this come up in Cappy's reading as well. Queen of Cups. Six of Cups. A healing of the heart. A healing of the past. It's like, higher awareness. You've successfully closed out some karmic cycle. Two of Wands, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, The Magician, The Alchemist, 111. King of Wands. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. Strength again and the hermit, so number nine and number 11. The hermit, find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth and strength, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. You're out twice. It's like you may not even had a re a realization or a reason to realize how much you're in your power. You could have just been like wandering around in your power in hermit mode, that kind of energy. It's kind of like um, walking around somewhere for ten years and there's no mirrors. Like you can't see what you're looking like from year to year. You don't know. There's nothing to reflect back to you. Who, how you are. 
and not in terms of appearance but it's that same kind of thing it's like you may not have been in a situation a relationship or had a connection for you to gain any evidence the brain is evidence based it's like you may have gathered a lot of evidence to say that you're not okay with certain things or that this is just how you are now but remember why you took that path it's like be open to let go of any ways that are no longer serving you that you may have outgrown or it just may just be time for something different it feels like it's a way for you to take your power back, the horse. We've got the butterfly here, transformation. The spider. Opportunity. Could there be an opportunity right on the outskirts of your web? It feels like something through your feeling. It's not about how much needs to be done or something else needs to be done. Sing your own song, record keeper, the wow. It feels like you're about to meet a very special individual, somebody that is like, you haven't met anyone like this before. Somebody that speaks your language in more than one way. This is something you've been very patient. It's that like you've been patient with yourself. Take time to reflect. so that you can move forward in the way that's best for you. It's like shift your perspective on these tower situations, shift, shift your perspective on these changes. Slow and steady wins the race. It's like you've been planning something or you've been sowing seeds for something that it's like it's gonna grow for a lifetime. This isn't a quick overnight thing. It feels like that difference between like fast food and a home cooked meal. It's like you may have put in a lot more effort. You may have got your hands dirty. Like you, it may have been a lot more work. But how much more satisfying is it to eat that food? And it's like there's something about that. Your creation is that home cooking. This isn't a fast, quick one to, you know. This is something you've been growing. This is something you've been laying foundations for emotionally, physically, spiritually. Something that's gonna prosper for generations to come setting boundaries it's like you've cleared out your energy field the skunk projects self-respect it's like you've cleared out your energy field things have been ready things have been prepared it's not just a quick hire this is something sustainable this is not a quick one minute like success something that will be over in a flash. This is something that you're gonna need stamina for, something that's gonna continue to thrive for a lifetime. There's a reason why you had to see the deceit around you, why you had to see the truth of things as difficult as that may have been. It's like you needed to see people's true intentions so that you could get your house in order before these new energies arrived it's like clearing out the debris moon in Gemini stress may be an issue during this time 
It feels like the stress is coming from the fear. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotion. It feels like being stuck in your mind, like overthinking. It's like f being fearful that you're going to have to let go of something or take a minute, stop working or have to venture down a different road or balance something out. It's like you're going to step into this passionate new beginning, regardless of if it's scary or not. So it's like you can either do it well or you can do it sick. And that really depends on how you're gonna master your emotions, manage your emotions and your thoughts. Journaling would be great. And also just letting yourself know that you're gonna make the decision to do this anyway. Because a lot of the time it's like the anxiety comes from us telling ourselves that we've not made a decision, that we're not gonna do something, giving ourselves the, the space to still decide, to ponder on it. It's like, what do you actually want? stick to that decision and move through it because it's like once you've decided once you're once you're ready to go all in once you let go there is no anxiety there is no overthinking because there's nothing left to calculate or analyze because it's like it's too late you've took the leap the path has been cleared for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable, the frog. The butterfly just come on the TV. Oh, number 44, your layer. He loves traveling and learning from people he meets. He is famed for his acts of talent and courage and all his ventures end in success. He fights to keep traditions alive and researches historical facts, clarifying unclear situations of the past. He well remembers past incarnations which assist him in understanding history. Generous at work, he always gives everyone a chance. He does not permit himself to become downhearted and allows nothing to impede him from achieving his aims. Planet the sun. Reasons for invoke him for courage to face adversity, to magistrates to be successful in judicial proceedings, to protect us against harm from firearms or sharp weapons. Page number 40. Nope. Page number 34 number 44 mindfulness i am aware of my thoughts and i ask myself are they uplifting and are they true I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional and physical health and because I know that my body believes everything that I believe. I'm not in control of all situations that come my way, nor am I in control of what others do or say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. Base chakra, root chakra, responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excesses and overindulgences as I forgive myself for past indiscretions. I know I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time.
selflessness, crown chakra. I am kind to all. I am aware that everything I do or say affects others. I will help those who seek it and I will seek out ways to be of service. I develop an attitude of looking for ways to help others instead of always wanting to be asked. Everything I do, I do from a spiritual perspective and I put my heart into it. I'm going to leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you guys soon. Sending so much love.